my language then. Welcome back, my friends and fellow gamers. I'm Wrath, and we're back in Hellion today. However, we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, I've gone ahead and gotten back in touch with my old friend and compatriot, Darkenclaw, and I'm Hi, joining yeah. him on one of the public servers to go ahead and see what he has constructed here. He's got his own station that he has put together. Uh, I need a jetpack, dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it. Man, I'm working on it. <laughs> Uh, helmet <laughs> almost suffocated just putting the helmet on uh but we've it looks like they just added this thing too because it's uh it doesn't look like they've even put everything away yet uh you know this thing's still riding a a military grade yeah i, know. I just okay. put it on <laughs> well there's a there's a regular nanite one that was in place here so i just put that in uh, that works too because there was it, i mean it's only got uh like 85k or whatever but it, it mm -hmm. should be good for at least like half a day or so. Oh anyway, yeah, we got plenty of spares. So we're also joined by Fire Dude, uh, and this is Hi guys, how you doing? And so I am doing a little bit of guesting here because uh, when I logged back in, I took a little bit too much time away from the game after the live stream from last weekend, and so I came back and found that half of my stuff had exploded. So. Uh, <laughs> I'll be starting my own station over again uh, on my next episode, but for this episode, I'm going to go ahead and pal around with my old buddies who have me locked into this bay that is depressurized, and I have no oxygen. Wait, what? It's pressurized. Uh, but the, the hallways aren't. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm pressurizing the hallway for you right now. <laughs> it's like, it's like um, here, you stay in your, you stay in your corner there. <laughs> Yeah, I, okay. I actually didn't realize you were in the station, so I was uh, depressurized because I was just about ready to go out to the cargo bay there. Yeah, I can't find that jetpack. I don't know where you put that jetpack at. It should have been on a shelf. Probably up high, I think, is where it went. I can double check. I got to search the two cargo bay, so. Let's see here. Do I get the benefit of your blueprints? It looks like all answers are pointing to no. <laughs> yeah, you did not. We tested it. It goes by a person. Okay, so in order for me to get the blueprints, I have to have submitted them into the the destroyer thing. Yeah, there's two of them, so yeah, make sure. I don't, but I just, yeah, you have to do it. I think I have one for the web for the pistol, and Fardu has every EVA part except for the chest piece. Yep, that's not bad. I am uh, deep pressure down to eight bar because we've just somehow lost a lot of our oxygen. A lot of air just disappeared. Ah, don't make me get on the life support controls myself here. Oh, I'm not authorized. You guys haven't authorized me on the station. Yeah, give me a second. I'll be there. I'm going to run over with a jetpack, and I'm going to authorize you on the way over. Okay, you should be able to make it into the main room now if you're in that in that hallway. I have everything to eight bar. No, 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 no. It just depressurized. I'm dying. What? Yeah, we have a leak? It must be a leak. Yeah, you've got a... You've got a leak somewhere in the main section. It doesn't it's say it on. Pressurized. I'm kind are of... you in the main? Are you in the main cargo bay? No, no, the he's main, in the the command module is depressurized. He's in the life support module. I was. Now I'm gonna die. Well, give me a second. I'm coming. It's, I'm coming it's going jetpack. up. I don't think there's a second on this one. I'm dying. <laughs> well, yeah. eventually I get there. We we have no air. It all disappeared. So. What? Yeah, you yeah. had. I, we we had a full freaking take, and it's all gone now. So that's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I, I as soon as I opened that, I suffocated. Yeah, I uh, I was expecting. It. Yeah, we only had a couple corridors that had full air in them. What is going on with you guys? Come I don't on. know. I think I think that's just I think, you guys, to, I think you guys need to go back and 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 review some of my early starting guides because there's no reason that you shouldn't have easily had enough oxygen to to fill up your station yeah we've sort of had some uh but we've issues. had some technical issues yeah <laughs> it's not Do those pretty. technical issues start with a d yeah <laughs> mm, partially yeah oh, let I me see. know when i, I can log back in because here. uh i obviously can't continue in that room that's depressurized okay well if you can get out real quick you can get out and have enough time to get on the suit i have a jetpack right there Okay, I will try. So no guarantee that that will be correct because you should have enough time. I can get through with the uh, 
with the room being zero, I actually remember I put a suit on myself time to turn on life support. Yeah, I usually do too. Is, oh, this is it's it's slow. It's slow. Come on. Over here. And there you go. Put on the backpack. Helmet closed. There you go. There's no O2. There's no O2 in it. Show it full. Ah, there's one with oxygen in it. Jeez. I'm going to have <laughs> okay. harshly. I'm going to have strongly worded things to say to you. We no, need sorry. nitrogen as our our main problem. We need nitrogen. Yeah. So we can get we have, everything. We have, why, we why, haven't you, why haven't you guys mined nitrogen? We did. We tried. We tried. As a matter of fact, that's what we nitrates. did yesterday. You yeah, I went to every we, asteroid. It's all ice. No. Yep. You, the <laughs> nitrates are over around Everest. I'm an idiot. The ones, I was the, the ones around Bether have oxygen, have uh, wa ice and uh, uh, nickel iron. And then the the ones around Everest have uh, what is it? Uh, blah 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 blah. They have uh, the nitrates and the uh, the freaking uh, nickel iron as well. So there's your yeah, problem right there. Your command module is venting. Is, is that it? At? Let's see. Okay, I'm depressurizing everything here. I got a welder. I'm headed your way. Uh, life support. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. No, we don't have a breach. It doesn't say it on our life support. It doesn't say we no, have a breach. No, we don't have any breaches anything. anywhere. It all just disappeared. It was just like I I had everything at well, one let bar. Me take a look at that. Let me take a look at that life support mod. Maybe. It shows we have 1.7K air in the tanks now all of a sudden. It showed earlier we had zero. Okay. I just on. depressurized everything. Okay, so let me let me go look at what we've got here. So what's the layout of this station here? I'm looking here. So fabricator thing. It, it looks, looks like, like a Y wing bomber. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm, very I'm looking bad. at it here right now, so just give me a second. Here's I found one fire. I'm on it. I found a hole okay, in the solar so. modules. Okay, that's fixed. I want to go ahead and unload the cargo, my cargo transport. Okay, check, uh, dark, check the doors on corridor B and C for the, uh, for the command module. Yeah, I'll double check that right now. Yeah. Make sure the exterior doors are shut, especially on corridor B. Since that has no gravity, so it's not connected to anything. Uh, turn on. And uh, that door is shut. I can see it through the window. I'm in the in there right now. Okay. Yeah, let me shut. Uh, let me shut the airlock real quick. Corridor A is shut. Cargo bay, I believe, is open. Yeah, but I, didn't, I had it to the airlock. I had that airlock door shut, so it wouldn't vent. Yeah, I think I had to go through it. I'll be over there to the cargo oh. bay here in a minute. I gotta unload a whole cargo bay full of loot to for us to shred. Okay, I'm heading in the. Docking port F here. I'm, I'm going to have to take you guys on a mining mission, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, well, uh -huh. I was going to go on a mining mission. You can come with us. Yeah, that was I, the idea I, I was to I'm, get I nitrogen. I think I'm going to have to drive. <laughs> yeah, I'll let, yeah, I'll let you I have, drive. I have a feeling that letting you drive is going to be suicidal. I mean, I've, I've, I've driven pretty well. I haven't ran into any planets lately. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a, that's not a, uh, that's not a benefit. That's I've only blown through the starter records, like starting wreckage for the power supply module once or twice. <laughs> Not too bad. Okay, okay that's, that's your awesome exterior airlock. Okay, I'm, I'm getting lost trying to navigate around in here. Yeah, it gets look it's confusing at first. That's your yeah, exterior that's your exterior one. He leads back to the crew quarters, which also has a deadline on it. Hello, baby girl. What's the matter? Oh, you said you want to come sit in daddy's lap. Okay, come here. Oh, baby girl. Oh. I don't see any holes in the command module. Must be on the outside, right? Check the exterior. 
Yeah, that's what I'm gonna yeah. do. I'm coming back down now. Cause something vented pretty much your entire Atmo. Uh, right? I don't know how much Atmo do we have to begin with. I thought we didn't have that. We much. almost had a full tank when I when I started pressurizing. Well, we did we add another ten thousand capacity. Yeah. Uh, as I tumble out of here. The reactor's yeah. looking good, except for you. Uh, gonna have to. We need. Uh, you've got yeah, a whole, we need a few parts. damage in your reactor for sure, because I just saw it. Oh really? Okay, I'm headed that uh, way. Lower deck near the uh, power supply to the left of the power supply panel. Oh yeah, that's always going. I don't know what that is either. I've uh, there's nothing on the outside. I've been out there and tried to fix it, but we always get a hole right You've there. You've got damage in the T module. See, I just ran through there and didn't see anything. Damage to your... Is it possible you guys got hit by something? Because you've got no. damage. You've got damage to the uh, the cargo bay module. Oh uh, yeah, cargo bay module is always getting damaged. I can't tell because everything's powered off. I can't yeah. tell how badly the yeah. damage is, but yes, sweetie. Do you want me to start powering some things on? We got plenty of power. Yeah. I Go can't ahead. do everything, but I can do majority of this stuff. Yeah, power, for some reason, even with the fusion reactor. Power everything up so that I can start seeing where the, the status of everything is. Okay. This must be the life support module. Yeah, that's life support module. The very last one right there is life support. Yeah. For crowd cubes. Okay, so... That's pretty cool. It's a neat little deal. And a dead body. Yeah, that's pretty common. Yeah, he thought it was all. <laughs> Although, if I wanted to be really silly, I could have gotten back in my cryopod to die. All right, I'm at the power supply controls, so I'm just going to start powering everything up. Why do you have okay. your air generator on if you have no resources in it? It, we just did. I was just powering off and running through the ship trying to figure out where the hole was. <laughs> okay, but you've got you've got two of them running. So uh, it must be left over res, res, the one that must be left over from the um, last part might have got turned off. Oops. Hold okay. On a second here, let me let me start cleaning that up because that's going to eat away all of your power. Oh yeah. So. Shut I just logged on probably ten minutes before you did though, so I'm trying yeah, to get running, things. That's running. That's running 4K out of your system a second. From just one what? Of them. 4K yeah, of no, energy? Like yeah, though the air the the air generators now generate uh, a huge amount of air, but they also generate a crap ton uh, or suck away a crap ton of energy. Jeez. Okay, so the fusion module's fixed. Okay, so everything's powered up, so I'm gonna start going through and looking at all of these here. Starting with this fabricator. So, Man, that blows. We had enough air to at least do three quarters of the base yesterday. Well, we've got. We, I've only got about seventy percent air, so we need to go ahead and go get to work now. Yeah, we have lots of oxygen. Oh, yeah. We just need to. I'll, I'm working on emptying out the cargo bay here of the ship, and we will be able to take. Then we'll be able to transfer all the uh, drill inventory in and out. Okay. In that case, I'm I'm gonna shred the basketball and stuff that I have in my inventory. Yeah, I mean, let's all play basketball. <laughs> it's kind of worthless. That's that's what's wrong with it. Right. Yeah, come on. When you die, the best thing to do is play basketball. And why can't they even make it look like a basketball? Come on now. <laughs> it looks like a it looks like a basketball made by people who. Oh, it and it just jettisons them. The all of the decorative looks... stuff just gets jettisoned. It looks really? like a volleyball to me. Yeah. You're joking. We can't shred a volleyball or basketball. No, it just it just jettisons them. They're they're utterly worthless for anything other than decoration. They have no value. That's a shame. Same with all the other decorations. No value whatsoever. Alright, first things first, I'm sealing all these bulkheads. Uh, the one going from the cargo bay back to the the main, just leave that open because I'm going back and forth through there right now. Well, but everything else ski can shut down for sure. Yeah, okay, I'm just so I'm going into there. the cargo bay right now. 
Okay. Dark, are you on the ship in that cargo bay? Yeah. Okay. Oh man, you got a hole right below the ship, right above the uh, the airlock on your cargo bay there. I'll yeah. Run out there. I I, I, I try to make damn, but I, I get so much damage. I just say whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, blood on me. I don't care. Oh, when you're... dark, you're making you're making my skin crawl, man. <laughs> it's like I've, I sit I've there come and to listen to everything and, you're doing and I just I I cringe inwardly. I'm like, I'm like, oh, don't do that. <laughs> You're like, why did I join hey, you? Ironically, next? man, this cargo, <laughs> that cargo bay I have on there was meant to be the, uh, going to dispose of that. But I said, you know what? Let me keep it. Well, I'm surprised the it's still is, is that doing the whole doing the whole trailer park thing doesn't <laughs> really doesn't really work as well in this version because the stations don't carry as much resources. Oh, I know. But I use that for extra item storage. That's not even worth it. Yeah, that's sort of point it is. I mean, at least the for only, me, I go do a lot of trips. Would, the only reason at this point that I would, because you're you're expending a massive amount of extra fuel to haul that thing around. Yeah, but you can carry a lot more than you can that stupid little lifeboat. <laughs> I know. That's my lifeboat's a joke. I wish we could find a mule somewhere. Yeah, I gotta do the storyline to get that. Do I don't we, know. I'm willing to bet that I can get a mule without storyline. I've I've been looking around every station and whatnot. I've not found one yet. No, no, you're not gonna find one. They've they've changed everything. Have yeah, you I know that. The I know they changed the whole levels? spawn. Yeah. Yeah. The higher you're you further you go out, higher they go. You're gonna find it around the. Uh, I think it's the planet with like uh, six or seven level radiation. Yeah. Where you're gonna find them? This is gonna be yeah. graceful. Oh, right? Wham. <laughs> Last time, last time I was preparing, I've been preparing to go out to a further out planet once we had enough uh, warp cell built up. Just because it takes forever. No, it but doesn't. It takes cell. 10 minutes. No, but the warp cells, you get used up quite a bit. No, no, but you understand that you can take your ship. Oh, yeah. Take everything out of it. Disconnect it from your station. Give it a nice good shove and set it on self-destruct and summon another one. And it comes oh, with a, another 100% warp cell. That's true. So it, yeah, we, it, I don't it, takes, like it takes like four minutes to cycle a ship, maybe, if you're slow. And, you know, so in 10 minutes, you can have three 100% warp cells and a singularity cell detonator in another five. So you're good to go. Mm -hmm. if, you saved, if you saved the, uh, the green uh, nano uh, core from when you started with your Haven, if you saved that and replaced it with a normal one, then you should be able to go directly to like one of the 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 tier three planets and just get tier three shit all over the place. That's very true. The only the only about? thing that you have to make a quick stop for is the tier two EVA suits so that you don't melt when you get out of the ship. <laughs> yeah, we almost we almost had one of those and then we uh then we didn't have the warp field to get home and that was not bad that was not a good day. No, huh? that was a very. I have there's, there's a part day. of me there's a there's a part of me that says I should start my own station and invite you guys over to it, <laughs> just so that you can see what a not train wreck looks like. <laughs> hey man, I'm good. I'm a good conductor because I conduct the train wrecks properly. <laughs> you drive I make the train wrecks look directly okay. into each other with most efficiency. <laughs> I got to we I got to redo the station layout though. I got to put the command module somewhere where it's all centralized. Yeah, Ditch this the is outpost. This is just really 3 days of just kind of messing around station is what this is. Just trying to get it pieced together as we're trying to find parts. So Yeah, well, I can't freaking find a resource injector, man. This was a pain. Are you Oh, I'm going to slap you. And I I only look at look, I've looked I never looked up there. <laughs> There's also one when you first start the game and you get it and you're in that station that's deteriorating. Yeah, where's that one? one? Yep. There's one on top of the CQM module. So you can basically sacrifice one and put the other one in your your air processor at, right at the beginning. And so I've done that one. I that's I've been looking for that one again though. 
Because I can't make it yet. I've got to get the blueprints for it. Yeah, I'll, I'll loot one out of the airlock. We can take one out of the airlock then. I'm going to go look at the navigation map because I want to see where you guys are in your orbit. Oh, really? We're on the other side. Really? What? I am surprised you guys haven't been raided to death. I don't know, man. Honestly, I've been expecting someone to come raid us. Honestly, I've been waiting for that to happen, and no one's come. Shame. Shame, Dark and Claw. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> but I, I, I came into this thing to, to go look at the other planets here to see which one would be the best to go after. So, Hereth is 3.2. So... Askatar. What's around Askatar anyway? Or processing? Yeah, that'd be that'd be a good spot to go looking. Yeah, see Askatar. If you have the if you have the green one, we could go look in in Askatar. Wait, which green one? Which one are you talking about? The green. The the when you first get into the game, your your when you first get your haven. Uh -huh. Haven has a very low powered uh tier three nanite core. Yeah, I don't think we have that anymore. It's been a while. Uh uh. Yeah. yeah. Well the, the, the significance of that is that it has a resistance of ten radiation per second, which makes it extremely valuable. Because mm. you we could go we could go all the way to Athnar with that sucker. Again, you'd probably want to make like have everybody have at least a tier two a EVA suit fully loaded with medical supplies so that their face doesn't melt the minute that they walk out of the the, the ship. But, That's half the fun now. Well, <laughs> the the radiation level around Athnar is nine point two per second. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so it's like it's like, okay, we're gonna go out the airlock and I'm melting. <laughs> That's the best part, part though. You, you turn into like a giant. A microwave? <laughs> you, you turn into a giant about the popsicle mobile. So you know, you're nice, uh, a nice little bit of a soup. Yeah. Well. Yeah, but we would we would probably have to go and hit like Hirath first to get yeah a, uh, a better sing singularity cell detonator. Uh, that or uh, Aridil, either one of those, and then bounce out to Askatar in order to get like a mule. Because I'm pretty sure that there's a, the, that that or Aya would both have a, a mule around them, but Aya's got 11 hit points per second, and then like end game is obviously uh, Nimath because that's got 16.3. So you need you need some serious uh, shielding to go looking around Nimath for just. I can imagine. Good thing it doesn't have it. It's barely got anything around it, so you know. It's like, oh, there's one asteroid on a collision course with the planet. So uh, don't stick around there too long. And then there's uh, just one derelict. So, yeah, I mean, if you still had that one, we could go and do some stuff with it. Otherwise, we're going to have some we're going to have some hard times ahead of us. Like I don't, I don't usually make a uh, my my station more than the 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 three rooms that you get at the start until I'm ready to get out of the the main area because of the fact that all this extra stuff is just extra dead weight that you've got to maintain, and it's easier yeah. to maintain something small. Oh, that's true. It definitely is. Yeah. Uh, this is kind of like. The first go, I haven't gamed in a you know at least a year, and so I've been having fun just playing around with this. So, I I played the original, and within the this is only within the last week have I been started to play Helion again since the new updates. But got to yeah. get used to it and got to get to know it again. Well, there's my corpse over there, so I know which way that is. And five minute server restart, yay! Yep. I think See after that. the I think after the restart, I am probably going to. Uh, do a fresh start of my own and come visit you guys. <laughs> That's fine. Just be like, hey, you giant crazy bastards. <laughs>
Let me put all this stuff away so that I'm not going to... As you flaunt all your resources in front of us? Yeah, I see how it is. Well, no, see, the, the, the trick <laughs> is, uh, like, ever since, like, uh, the the version before this one, one of the things uh -huh. that they've been that they've been really kind of upping is the survival gameplay in uh -huh. in terms that it's now really really getting closer to being about making sure that you are actually able to uh survive gotcha so you you have to you have to actually think uh, about okay what uh what's going on in my environment what uh how much resources do i really have where can i get more those those kinds of things and if you don't uh if you're not really planning around that you'll you'll find yourself coming up short uh more often than not i know that once they activate and i don't want to add the temperature it's going to get real fun the closer you get to the sun the hotter you're going to get yeah, but it's also or probably higher radiation to death. too. <laughs> oh yeah. It's not. It's not so much the closer you get. It's more of the. Oh, and then I forgot that we're going to freeze to death all the way out here because space is cold as balls. Yeah, it's, it's gonna take. A, they're probably gonna make us get to manage your power for the heaters. Yeah. So like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I would not I would not wish this station upon you guys because uh, it it. it <laughs> To my mind, it's clear that that you have more than you can manage right now. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> and that's and that's one of the reasons why I'm like, mm, nope. Well, there's a couple pieces I wouldn't mind getting rid of. It just kind of, you know, getting the, the base a little smaller. It doesn't need to be massive like we have it, but at, at the same time, we haven't spent that much time on the base. We've been running around trying to find things for it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll do we'll do a timed test. How about that? We'll do it. I'll do a fresh start. We'll do a timed test and see how long it takes me to get everything I need to move away from <laughs> from the area. <laughs> I mean, I can't venture to another area already. I can just I got take I got to suck up the radiation damage for a little bit. Yeah, but I mean, let me look at your resources here. Well, you do have silicates. Resources? You do have silicates and titanium. Where did you pick those up? Did you already go to another area? I have yeah, no idea. we've been to a few. Well, we yeah, we've been out. Yeah, we've been out and about, but okay. not too long. Because uh, you don't have the resources to actually survive out there for for more than a short period. Oh, of we time. can. We were actually out at uh, the other planet for a good half an hour to an hour. This this wandering around until I ran, until I was gonna warp home with all this, with all this great loot and realize that I had to have a full warp cell to get home. <laughs> always have, always always carry a reserve warp cell. What are you? Yeah, thinking? I learned that one. Well, I'm so you, I'm still used to the meal, man, where you have three of them, you just plop them in there now, nah, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't work. That you know, way. the worst part is, I set it up for him. I had extras laid out in a cargo bay for him to take with him. <laughs> That's brilliant. That that makes it more fun. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this recording. Uh, anyway, if you guys have enjoyed, uh, please like, subscribe, follow along. Uh, I'm going to do a couple more recordings possibly here with uh, Fire Dude and Darkenclaw. And until next time, I hope you've enjoyed, and I will catch you on the flip side. <laughs>